this week on Brad and Willie Vlogs. Tristan gets milk in bed, Thomas questions his life decisions, and I get hit by a bus. I'm sweating really bad right now. I think most of the sweat is just pure vodka. It's been a hard week. This past week we started uh, working from 5 a.m. because the afternoons are just too hot. So we start from 5 a.m. and we finish 12.30, 1, about lunchtime. Due to a recent sandstorm, we were having to uh, remove trees from places and uh, yeah, that wasn't much fun. Oh, how's it? <laughs> Good work. <Fuck> you. <laughs> what else do we get up to? Can't get over how beautiful this place is. I mean, in the mornings when you wake up at 4:30. It's nice to have a look up at the mountains, the beautiful sun, obviously the beautiful animals that I work with. But yeah, and a beautiful culture that we're surrounded by. It's really, really wavy right now. I don't know, they used to host Israeli parties here. Fuck. Uh, a couple other things we did. I kind of got hit by a bus. We got plugged up with banana milk this week. Shout out to the Oprah Winfrey of banana milk. You're like the dealer of, of milk out here. Yeah. God, it's so cold though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wait, let's reset it, set it up. Man, I just hey got guys, look pretty. I don't look. give a fuck. <laughs> Sit on your bed. Okay, you got this. Okay. Okay. Okay, now open the door. <laughs> Hello. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So Appreciate that, babes. <laughs> you know, my rugby coach told me to never shovel shit. Well, Mr. Black, you can be proud. I feel like Sia and Matea right now. They're so smart, what? You got this, Domino. Wrong stable. Move. Cow. No, don't turn that way. Look at those cheeks, though. Damn. Yeah, you took Molly's place, man. Molly, come here. Good horse. Okay, damn. I kind of want to explain to you guys why I'm here. What's my whole motivation behind all of this? Maybe not my sole motivation, but one of my motivations. Hey, Tippy. <laughs> oh, looky. <laughs> right. So I guess it's a good time to say uh, white privilege. <laughs> I feel like I have pr privilege and it's almost disabled me in a lot of ways now look back home i've been privileged in a lot of ways a lot of white privilege financial privilege a lot of things that have i i, I believe has ultimately put me in a position where i don't understand the value of things now i came to israel where my whiteness is not so prominent most other people here are white I don't have a religious privilege, you know, it's, it's very Jewish here. Hey, shim shim. <laughs> uh, I mean, in university, I, uh, I struggled to motivate myself. And I do believe a lot of that was due to the privilege that I received. I was almost stuck mentally in a place where I believed I had achieved everything I needed to. I kind of wanted to refresh my value system i wanted to wake up in the morning and really enjoy the sun 
I wanted to work hard for some money and really understand the value of it. I mean, here in Israel, we get paid 22 shekels a day, which works out to probably 110 rand a day. You know, we're volunteers. We are, we are bottom workers. I'm not trying to take anything away from the experience or who we are, but you know, I'm at the bottom of the social food chain. And that's what my goal was ultimately. I wanted to relearn a lot of things. I don't know, hopefully you guys can understand what I mean. So part of this journey, part of this experience is stripping myself down of all the privilege that I can. I mean, inherently I can't get rid of my whiteness. I can't get rid of my masculine, my masculine privilege, but I've definitely been refreshed already. And uh, after officially two months here, I've learned a lot of, uh, more about myself in the last two months than I have in the two years before that. But I want to come back, you know, feeling appreciative, understanding that my parents worked hard for what they can give me and that if I want things, I will have to work hard myself. It was just all a mentality thing. I mean, I understand that there are people who are suffering and I'm definitely not someone who suffered, but uh, yeah, it just it put me in a mental block almost. The reality is I'm working on a farm. I, uh, I appreciate things around me a lot more. I mean, I've become better at saving. I, uh, I definitely enjoy the mornings a lot more. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, it's a lot easier to work nowadays. There's a trailer here, which is a sad sight. We are saying goodbye to some horses today. For a period of time or forever, I'm not actually sure. So we're taking Mary and Lambada and Mary has to say goodbye to her son Garnoff and that's going to be pretty sad to see. Garnoff is coming to say goodbye. Look at all the kittens. Thanks for watching the vlog.